Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Alicia Malone, thank you, and welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show as I broadcast live on an FM platform across the nation. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, my audience, no, I'm so excited. I get to talk about summer under the stars, <laughs> and it returns to Turner Classic Movies. I'm a follower of Turner Classic Movies. My husband said, oh, you're watching that black and white channel again? But I'm a big <laughs> follower of what you guys do. So what do we got coming up to celebrate summer classics? Well, I'm so glad you are because that's the same with me too. It's it's on constantly in my house. And I love Summer Under the Stars because each day throughout August, we dedicate one entire day, 24 hours of programming to a different star. And not only do we play the biggest stars like, uh, you know, Humphrey Bogart, Audrey Hepburn, Jimmy Stewart, but we also show some stars that you might not know so much about, like Liv Ullman and Paul Lucas and Brian Don Levy, who was an actor who played a lot of like heavy roles, a lot of gangster type roles, but he was a great actor in, in a, of himself. So there's so many great actors to delve into the filmography of. And of course, for each of us hosts, we give context throughout the films. Uh, it, before each movie, we place it in historical context and also give you some information about the career of that actor. What I love about it is you play the unknown stars and we're going like, yeah, I saw him in that movie. Oh yeah, he was in this other movie. So we become more informed as you guys do that, and I'm sure that's a part of your mission plan. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's part of our big mission is to not only serve the, the current classic film lovers, but also to bring new people in and to give you information that you might not have heard before. And so I love the fact that later on in the month, on the 27th, we've got a day dedicated to Walter Brennan. He is an actor that you might recognize because he's played a lot of like older crotchety characters in Westerns. He has also a great role in Sergeant York, where he plays a pastor, and To Have and Have Not, where he plays the drunk best friend of Humphrey Bogart, but he has the record still of the most best supporting actor Oscars to his name. He won three in his career. And I think, you know, so often we focus on lead actors, but the supporting roles are just as important, sometimes even more so, because he, he turned up in films and he made such a great impression, but he wasn't necessarily the big name star. He was also interesting in that, you know, he served in World War One. he ru ruined his voice with mustard gas, so he had this older sounding voice, and then in 1932 he lost all his teeth in an accident. So when he took out his dentures and he had his voice, he could play characters that were much, much older than he was, but a really brilliant actor that I hope more people get to know about. I love those kind of tidbits and also too see like most of us probably know him because of our age from the real McCoy. Yes of course yeah later on he was so popular in the real McCoy and and so he had such a long career in Hollywood but again people might not have seen all his movies. Is. Okay, who else is up after Walter Brennan? you have anybody else for us to watch? Well, another actor I think is really interesting to talk about is Dustin Hoffman because he was an example of how Hollywood changed because he was supposed to be just this character actor. He didn't necessarily have the leading man good looks of old Hollywood. But when Hollywood changed and became new Hollywood in the late 60s and 70s and movies started to get darker and grittier, they called for actors who could transform with every role that weren't necessarily these larger-than-life personas of the past. So Dustin Hoffman was in the right place at the right time. He was cast in The Graduate. His uh, portrayal of Benjamin in that film really spoke to modern audiences. And then, of course, he's gone on to have such a wonderful career like Kramer vs. Kramer, who plays a single dad. Tootsie, where he plays an actor who dresses up as a woman to get a role. Um, you know, Marathon Man, where he plays a man on the run. Midnight Cowboy, I'm walking here. You know, he has such a great range to him. Hook, I mean, I remember seeing Hook when I was young and he terrified me as Captain Hook. So he's an interesting one. And of course, when we talk about women in film, a lot of our context comes to the fact of maybe the obstacles they face, particularly for women of color, or maybe the stereotypes they had to fight against, or maybe the fact of like Ava Gardner, who was so beautiful that she struggled for Hollywood to actually take her seriously as an actress. I love it. I love, like I say, I love to see those unknowns so we can identify them and say, oh, yeah, I saw her in that movie. I love that part about it. <laughs> you know, you have you are uh, becoming such so synonymous with Turner Classic Movies. 
how does it feel to, to, to be in this spot? We love Ben Mankiewicz. I've interviewed him. Yeah. We love what he does. But, you know, to see you, and please forgive me for saying this, to see a woman doing this, you know, this gives us hope. Yeah, it feels really special. You know, it's it's hard to imagine people that watching it, you know, you hear Martin Scorsese say that he doesn't travel anywhere unless the hotel has TCM. You hear that Paul Thomas Anderson, the director, has TCM on constantly at his house. Drew Barrymore always has a TV in her kitchen dedicated to TCM. So it's hard for me to imagine that these people and audiences out there are actually watching me because I'm just so focused on telling the stories. But I feel like I've found my place. You know, I've always been so Someone who's loved classic films, but um, haven't had hasn't had much of a chance to talk about them, and I definitely felt out of place talking about some of the big comic book movies where that wasn't my natural inclination. I just wanted to stay at home and watch TCM. So I feel like I've I finally found my place with TCM, and it feels really special, particularly when women write to me and say that they're really excited to see a woman on the channel. Um, and I love the fact that I get to talk about a lot of women in film and I get to, you know, put that in context. And I love the boys as well. I love working with Ben and I love working with Dave Carger as well and, and Eddie Muller who does Noir Alley. You know, they're such a great group of people. Well, you're very, very blessed to do something that you love and loving what you do. So celebrating the summer classic movies, when do you want us to start watching? Yeah, you can start watching right away. It's happening all throughout August. And if you want to see the full range of programming, go to tcm.com slash summer. And there you'll see every single star that's being celebrated and all of their movies. And you don't have to miss a single one. Well, Alicia Malone, thank you for making us smarter and our own personal stars brighter by watching TCM. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to talk to you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.